Hey, hey, it's the Phenomenal Stemist. Just give me a second as I share my um, my page with with others. He shouldn't have played. He shouldn't have played. Yep. Shouldn't have played. I was gonna wait. Uh, I was gonna wait till. All right, guys. Let me just see if everybody's joining me. I think I might go on Instagram as well. Nope. He shouldn't have played. I was gonna. I was gonna wait till. I was gonna wait till. Uh, Sunday, but I, I think I don't think this can wait. I don't think this can wait. Shouldn't have played. Instagram. <clears throat> he should not have played. I'm I'm showing you my, my a hand. I'm showing you a hand. I couldn't find a. I was I, didn't, I was in a rush, so um, I was like, let me um, let me find. I can't see if I'm on on my house my home page for some reason, but whatever. I'll I'll, I'll show it a little later. All right, so. Yeah, yeah. I, I was on I play volleyball. I play volleyball and um I play volleyball and I had an injury on my finger. Hey guys, what's up? Instagram I'm just talking about the fact that I don't think Kevin Durant shouldn't have played. Shouldn't have played. And if you want to know why I feel that way, just go on Facebook, uh, Phenomenal Stemist, and you'll see um, why I feel it shouldn't have played based on the picture. Guys, look at look at that finger. It's my it's my uh, middle finger. Middle finger. You see that little thin. You know, it's like coming from the top. It's a ligament, and it splits in two around. Well, I'm sure I didn't go to the doctor or anything. I'm sure I sprained that, okay? Do you know what a sprain is? So uh, just to preface this, I'm not a physician. Um, I'm a biomedical scientist, and I've been teaching anatomy and physiology for the past 15 years, okay? So that's that's my background. I know pretty much a lot about anatomy in regards to the skeletal system, the muscular system, and the nervous system. I have a postdoctoral fellowship in neuroscience and a PhD in molecular pharmacology in the field of biomedical sciences from Albert Einstein College of Medicine. So that's that's my background, okay? And um, I I every time I play volleyball, I hurt it, I re-injure it. Now look at that little thin thing, okay? It's been uh, um, probably six months. It's been six months, and um, it's a little ligament, very thin ligament. I mean, tendon. Excuse me, a tendon. What is a tendon? A tendon is is something that connects my muscles to my uh, bones. Okay. I also have ligaments in my in my um finger as well, they connect bones to other bones. That's the difference between, let's say, an ACL and an Achilles. An ACL is a ligament that can, a big ligament that connects the uh, bone, basically your thigh bone, your femur, to your tibia, your shin bone in your leg, all right? Huge, huge, huge ligament that connects a bone to another bone. You tear that, psh, it's a wrap for a while, for a while, right? Some of you have told, told um, um, tore your Achilles, 
All right. Well, then imagine a tendon. A tendon is connecting your muscle, so it, to allow you to move your um, to allow you to actually move your bones, you have a tendon. It connects muscles to bones. Bones themselves don't move. They only move if there is a tendon attached to it to allow muscles to move it, all right? So I don't know what I've torn. A sprain is basically you tearing a ligament, right, or a tendon, okay? A fracture is when you break a bone. A sprain is where you where you disrupt uh, connective tissue. What is a ligament or tendon? They're basically made up of the same thing. They're made up of some strong fibrous tissue. We call it dense regular connective tissue. And they connect either a bone to a bone or a muscle to a bone, but they're made up of the same material. Okay, so basically your Achilles is made up of the same material as your ACL. And, you know, they're, uh, but one is bigger than the other. The Achilles is bigger. Than, I mean, sorry, the, um, the ACL is bigger than the Achilles. All right. But just look at this tendon right here and the ligaments over there. And, and they're made up of the same thing. It's just thinner. And I just told you I sprained my finger and it hasn't healed. It hasn't healed. It takes a lot of time to heal connective tissue. It takes a lot of time to heal connective tissue. All right, so, so then what is the, the Achilles tendon? Okay, so the Achilles tendon, if you see here at the base, this is your heel bone, your calcaneus, and here is your calf muscle, and your so, your, so your gastrocnemius and your soleus. And this is a huge tendon, huge tendon right here. And the base of it, Right there, there, there's what they call the Achilles, but this is a huge tendon. All right, this is the reason why I feel that he shouldn't play it. I feel like the basketball league has been well, the team that has my friend that shouldn't have played. I didn't, I didn't call him my friend, I didn't like him, but now you know, I really feel sorry for him. I really feel sorry for him, but the league, the team that had him play, the team that had him play said. Oh, it's a calf injury. Okay, just to let you know, this tendon is huge. Okay, I don't think it's the same. You know, there's multiple names as the areas go down. But this tendon is basically one big, huge tendon right here that connects the calf muscle to the calcaneus. It also connects the soleus muscle. So this is the gastrocnemius, this is the soleus, to the heel bone. You can't see what I'm saying here, Instagram. So if you want to see it, you're going to have to go on to basically um, Facebook at Phenomenal Stemist, okay? But look how big this thing is. You saw, you saw the game yesterday. You saw the muscle shake at the level of his – for those of you who watched, like, went and watched the replays after – um, the game was totally over. So if you didn't, you may want to go and look on YouTube. It might be ha it might be there. They showed the 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 hamstring shake. That was a violent injury when the hamstring got out of whack, which is basically your the back of your thigh. Okay, this is the back of your calf. They say it's oh, it's only a, a, a injury to the calf muscle. Oh, it's a, only an injury. Nah, the, you, it it was it was this. I believe it, it. It's always been this. This is a thick tendon. This is a huge tendon, and I feel that the tendon was injured. Do you see how big that thing is? That ain't healing in a month. That's not healing in a month. I don't believe, I don't know for sure. I'm not saying I know it for sure, but they were like lower leg injury. You, see, you saw how they were doing that earlier today, early yesterday, oh, it was a lower leg injury. Yeah, this whole thing is the leg. This whole thing is the leg. If they had said what it really was, physicians and physical therapists all over the nation would be in an uproar, okay? If he had played, they would have. There would have been people talking about it. 
if they had said what it really was, okay? I have friends right now who are physicians and occupational therapists and physical therapists who are currently in an uproar, and they've been lying to us this whole time. In my opinion, it, it wasn't the muscle. They've been lying to us this whole time, and they've been lying to him this whole time, in my opinion. He shouldn't have played. If if my little ligament in my middle finger is 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 taking months to heal, in my no volleyball having self, how is this tall, huge? Well, he's not that huge. He's pretty skinny, um, but still big bone. You know, tall guy, gonna heal. In, a, in 30 days. That was the most selfish thing I've ever seen. If I, if I were a parent, I would have every son of mine taking anatomy and physiology who want to play sports. Every, like, like he shouldn't have played because he was not ready. This, this, this thing, this injury takes a long time to heal. My middle finger the ligaments take a long time to heal. What is little ligament? And you're going to tell me, in my opinion, I feel that it was always been. It's always been this thing. Don't, I, I, I'm really upset right now about these, you know, um, newspaper articles. He suffers Achilles tendon injury on game, you know, game five. Listen to me. You watch what players say you watch what players say you remember when he hurt himself when he hurt himself a month ago he looked back and every player said whenever they do that it's the achilles you watch the old replay watch when when kobe hurt his what he did it was a snap okay it was a snap it wasn't as simple as some muscles they, they play with words, guys. They play with words. They were like, oh, it's a lower calf injury. Calf, right? So when you say calf, that's the that's basically you can say calf muscle. You can say ligament. You can, you, if you literally say the calcaneal tendon joint, I mean um, tendon or the Achilles tendon or say something about tendon, people will be more in an uproar. But what they say is, oh, it's a lower leg injury. That's the same foolishness they did. Same foolishness they did last, even last night. They would come out and say it. Oh, I understand they want to be here for the emotions. They want to. They don't want to hurt the emotions of the team. They want to get one team excited, whatever. I I get that, but they continued and perpetuated that lie all month long. It has always been, and you cannot. This tissue right here, it takes time to build. It takes time for these cells. This tissue is made up of cells. And, and matter of fact, it's not made up of cells, actually. Connective tissue doesn't have much cells in it. It just has non-living fibers that you have to rebuild the non-living fibers. And you have to count on these little cells to start working and building the fiber, fibers. So imagine construction companies, you know what I'm saying, saying, oh, I can build a, a, a house in a couple of days. Just get me some men and we just build a house in a couple of days. You can't. You got to you gotta make the, the, the cement come together. You have to put the particles of the cement to even mix them, to get them to then harden, and you have to form it. And it takes a long time to do that. It's always been. And, for, it, and if they had said it, the truth from a while ago, physical therapists, occupational therapists, orthopedists, they would be out on television saying he should not be able to play. It's taking too long. What's up, Johnny? What's up, Don? What's Anna? And so my last point is this concept of do it all for the team, sacrifice your all for the team. This man is going to lose millions, if not his career. Maybe not his career. He'll come back. Maybe, right? Kobe came back. 
But Kobe back, Kobe never came back the same, no. I was talking to some friends last night. They think that maybe my team, if you know my team, I'm not going to name any teams or name any pairs tonight because I, you know, I really just want to keep it simple so that Facebook won't say anything that I'm doing anything. So, but you know my team. If you don't know my team, look at my emoji and see what, you know, I didn't want him on my team because at first I didn't like him because I didn't like him for going to that team. But now I respect him. I respect his ignorance and I respect his heart. But that's why you have people who get paid the big bucks to put the emotions aside and say, homeboy, your money is 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 you are at the prime of your career. You are a free agent. You can get anything you want. You proven yourself these past two years. You are the reason why this crappy team has made it because they got you because they knew they can't beat my man over in LA. So you are the cream of the crop, my friend. You are it. And when you become a free agent next year, you can command the dollars of whatever. And let me tell you something about these investors who who will push players with disrespect and disdain. You think they cared about that young black boy? They did not. They let that young black boy, boy with an injured tendon that takes months to heal, go out and, and probably violently destroy it. I think it was a violent, it, it, it was bad. I saw that muscle, that, that, that hamstring shake. Okay. I am angry. They messed with my man's money. They, they, it was about business for them in the guise of heart for him. And if I was a parent, I would make every single basketball player, every single football player take anatomy and physiology part one. It teaches you about the skeletal system. It teaches you about the muscular system. And it teaches you about the nervous system. You got to know your body. And, you, and, and, and then you have to have people behind you. I, you have to have people behind you who have the expert, expertise to say, you know what, I know I know you, you think it's about heart, but really it's all about money. It's really about money for us. It's about money for us. And, and I want you to lose your money so that we can make ours. He shouldn't have played. He shouldn't have played. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. That's just my piece. If you have any questions, let me know. Usually ask me questions um, off the fly so that I can answer it because usually I'm like 15 seconds behind. Later, Instagram. Shouldn't have played. Anna, I see you watching. Don, Johnny, shouldn't have played. I'm going to stop this. Shouldn't have played. All right. I don't see any, I don't see any um, questions. So... If you have any questions, that guys, just feel free to comment on it, and then I'll make comments underneath your questions, or I will, um, or I will, uh, you know, basically put it. <clears throat> excuse me. Do another video for the question and answer session. You will call me if. Do you have my number? Yeah, call me in a few. Um, Shout out to my man. Um, I respect you. I respect your heart. Um, I really, oh yeah, I was talking to some friends. They think that they'll, my team will give the max contract just because we have a few years to, to get ourselves together anyway. So I think they'll take the risk on my man. He needs to leave that team. He needs to leave that team just like my man. Who's in charge? Who 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 they lost? Who basically lost to them last night? 
he had to leave his team because they did not have his medical benefits in order. He left a winning team because he cared more about his body uh, than his team did. And I think he needs to leave that team. They did not have his best interest at heart. They didn't have his family's best interest at heart. They didn't have his generations behind him best interest at heart. He shouldn't have played. Good night. Good morning. I got to get to get ready for work. Bye.